Chilton, of the 92 goalkeepers ever chosen by England for full internationals, he now stands on his own. His 74th cap tonight surpasses the record of Gordon Banks. And at 36, Chilton's stature and presence, and indeed his agility, show no signs of decline. It's an England side with just one change from the draw with Romania here last month. Ray Wilkins returns for the injured Peter Reid. A chance, says Bobby Robson, to see whether Wilkins and Glenn Hoddle can operate in the same midfield. But such are the options available for the England manager in the battle for places in his World Cup team. Only five of this side played in Istanbul. Then Yashar conceded eight goals, but he remains in the firing line despite further erratic performances for Turkey. The 30-year-old goalkeeper is one of only four to survive Turkey's inept showing last November. Defenders Yusuf and Rashid and Mujdat in midfield are the others. Five players come from Fenerbahce, who recently produced a sensation in European football by knocking Bordeaux out of the European Cup. It would have been six, but Hussein was taken ill overnight. So at number 10, Yunal wins his first cap. Anatoly Milshenko from the Soviet Union is tonight's referee. Adding, I think, to the World Cup flavour, some of you might well remember the last Russian official here, Bakramov, the linesman who signalled the validity of Jeff Hurst's controversial goal in the 1966 World Cup final. So England kick off in the rather strange colour combination of red shirts and blue shorts. In the World Cup regulations, it's the home team that changes, Turkey in white and red. And England, as Bobby Robson has been saying, with a burning desire to win. Although now, thanks to the marvellous efforts of Northern Ireland, the place in Mexico is secure. Here's Ken Sansom. Hoddle with a useful turn and cross. Sansom had stayed forward. Selchuk on his own for Turkey. An interesting break this. But the athleticism of Gary Stevens to England's rescue. England just really sorting out exactly what style of defensive play they're up against. And it's a very mass one, but Lenica with the first strike in anger. Cleverly found by Ray Wilkins. An incisive ball from Wilkins. Vinica stole a yard and hit it first time. Here's Waddle. Breaks for Chris Waddle again. And Stevens in so much space to England's right. But Waddle has his eyes perhaps on the goal. And he's made it! It's his opening goal for England. And it's arrived in the true Waddle style. On and on he went. And I don't think Yashar will be too pleased to have been beaten from such an angle at the end. In the 15th minute, Chris Waddle beating the goalkeeper on the near post at the end of a spectacular run. Well, Bobby Robson has said by picking him, he's shown his belief in Waddle, and Waddle has repaid that faith. England lead. And that really has raised the volume of the crowd. We're just becoming a little impatient with Turkey's mass defending. For Chris Waddle, it must have raised the morale no end. Ismail. Waddle wins it back. And 
after assessing one or two other options, Wilkins went for the most difficult pass. Model. Stevens is onside. And Lineker, 2-0. England very much in the groove. Two goals in three minutes. Turkey torn apart again. And Stevens with the presence of mind to look up and find the head of Lineker. Just made the little check there to stay onside Gary Stevens. And he de deserves his credit for his part in the goal by Lineker. It's England 2, Turkey 0. We've only played 18 minutes and thoughts may be now turning possibly to another eight. It's asking so much, but England are so determined. Hoddle. Lineker. It's Wilkins this time. It's Waddle and the linesman is flagging and that one doesn't count. But in terms of defensive football, at this level, Turkey sadly lacking. What is moment this time ruled out? Here's one for Hakeley to fight for. And Robson was aware of the possibilities, although Hakeley didn't get a clean jump. And Robson is offside. And again, it doesn't count. And it was a beautiful chip too from the England captain. It's possible that he wasn't the uh, player furthest forward. It was Hakeley and possibly Lineker as well in the centre of the picture. The linesman flagged, no goal. But Wilkins not able to just pick up a yard of space and then waddle. Now Stevens. And it opened up for Gary Stevens. At times the Turkish defenders with their individual marking responsibilities are neglecting the actual player in possession. Gary Stevens allowed to go on and let fly. Onside. Clean in at Yashar. It's hit the post. Lineker. Hakeley. Tremendous save. Robson. 3 0. And Yashar this time unlucky. Well, Brian Robson, who scored. A hat-trick in Istanbul has helped himself again here after initially hitting the post. But England reclaimed it. Hakeley's header was beaten out by Yashar, but Robson pounced. And what a good goal-scoring record from midfield Brian Robson has for his country. That's his 16th in his 49th international. England lead 3-0 and 10 minutes of the first half remain. Stevens goes on. Robson's gone to the near post. Lineker. It's four. And England promised a night of celebration. And that's certainly the way it's turning out. Again, it's the Stevens-Lineker combination. The header buried in the corner. Three minutes left before half-time. England 4, Turkey 0. And 
surely now the eight isn't out of the question. And Gary Lineker, his second. Wilkins and Robson. Wilkins. Hakley was blocked off the ball by Ismail. Referee had his eyes actually on the path of the cross. I didn't see the infringement. You know. Bobby Robson's mind might be turning to the nine goals that uh, his side got here in the European Championship against Luxembourg almost three years ago. Because they got four in the first half against Turkey in the World Cup. Two from Gary Lineker. And a significant one for Chris Waddle that set England on their way in the 15th minute. The other from Brian Robson. And one's heart goes out to Yashar, who's got to face the second half, knowing that his team are being overwhelmed and overrun. Half time at Wembley, it's England 4, Turkey 0. Welcome back to Wembley. England on their way to Mexico in style. Four goals to the good, every prospect of more to come. And when one remembers the pain of matches here, like the game against Poland which stopped us qualifying for the 1974 finals it really is an occasion to sit back and enjoy Bobby Robson's side playing well against meek opposition but making that opposition look exactly what it is right Wilsuf hesitated and hatley has got the better of him. Yashar was left exposed and he too should have done better. England though have the corner. Right flicks it on. Yashar pours it away. Turkey that they have the qualities that will embarrass teams of a much better standard and Waddle fisted away by Yashar, good punch too collected well in turn by Yuna it's but a temporary reprieve for Turkey with Hoddle and Haitley it won't go in for him England rolls reversed here because it was Lineker who guided it down for Haitley. Mujdat. Hoddle and Wilkins linking up again. Robson looking for 
coordination of the likes of Platini and Gires for France. There's no higher standard in international football than that. Impishly done, Robson. This male has stuck to his task better than most for Turkey. And here's Waddle again. Lineker, is this the hat trick? It is! A very special moment indeed. Three goals for your country, as Gary Lineker has done here. Of the second half, Turkey had given the ball away. And Lineker made space for himself. And just as Brian Robson got a hat trick against Turkey in Istanbul, Gary Lineker has got one here at Wembley. And a scoreline that makes very pleasant reading. Second of the season, he scored three for Everton in the first division against Birmingham City. And on the Turkish bench, the brows are furrowed. They're getting a lesson and they know it. with Wilkins that was very adroitly done by Waddle and Robson may have pulled a muscle in his efforts to get there at the far post and look towards the bench and that could spoil England's party and indeed be bad news for Manchester United with the, the league match against Liverpool on Saturday he stayed off the pitch Trevor Stephen is England's midfield substitute. And I think England will take no risks with Brian Robson. He was herring towards the far post. And there it went. Meanwhile, Trevor Stephen finally gets on as Robson's replacement. Their ordeal at the hands of England is very nearly over. With a total of 13 goals scored in the two internationals against them. And England's qualification for Mexico is well and truly rubber stamped. And Bobby Robson can savour that satisfaction. Under him, England not only have their place in the international elite, but they can certainly go forward with confidence now. Turkey, of course, without the pedigree of the opposition to come, and they have been swept aside again, particularly by Gary Lineker. A hat-trick for him, matching Luther Blissett, the last England Wembley hat-trick here against Luxembourg almost three years ago. Chris Waddle and Brian Robson, who had to go off injured, the other scorers. So five goals for England on a night when the celebrations will be conducted with soft drinks because of the ban here on alcohol. But I think we can say at Wembley that the toast is England. England five, Turkey nil. No.